A number of studies out today connect diabetes to an increased risk of fractures. KSNT News Morning anchor Brittany Moore met with a man who says he's experienced different fractures his entire life. Bo Husher from Topeka has battled diabetes for over 40 years. Along with it, multiple bone fractures over the course of his lifetime. He fractured his thumb in his 20s, his foot in his 30s, and his most recent fracture, his hip. They went in, found the fracture put pins and screws in it. The fractures definitely have slowed me down, way down, um, not where I like to be. More studies out today claim there is a direct connection between diabetes and the risk of fractures. Diabetes is very hard on the vascular system. Um, it causes constant inflammation and so blood flow, um, carrying different nutrients, oxygen to the bones is impaired. Doctors say the key to preventing fractures for people with diabetes is control. We encourage um, good blood sugar control. All the studies show that um, increased risk of fracture, the less controlled the diabetes is. Um, higher the sugars, higher the risk of fracture. So we need to treat the underlying disease to make sure that fracture is not happening again. I think my focus has always been on staying in good control um, because it allows you to feel better throughout the day be more productive in the day. Diet and exercise are also key for improvements in diabetes and bone fractures. Bo's passion for sports keeps him moving forward. There's ways to get around anything if you work hard enough. Don't ever use diabetes as an excuse to do anything you want. Once his hip fracture heals, Bo plans to get back to being active and officiate basketball and football again. Brittany Moore, KSNT News.